I can't wait to test this bad boy out. I've wanted one of these for a while because, well, we'll get into that later, why this looks like such a cool controller. You can customize these on the Scuff Gaming website and make it look however you want and you'll see how I've made mine look. Enough chit chat, let's dive in and check this out by having a look at the box first before we get into the good stuff inside. So here you can see Scuff Infinity Pro. There's a picture of what the controller can look like with fancy grips on the back. All the kind of interchangeable sticks you can see as well. And you can see it's PlayStation 4 and PC compatible, which is a good thing. You can see Scuff Gaming, Scuffology, the science behind hardcore and professional gaming. Whoa! Underneath here you can see your scuff your way. You can have interchangeable thumbsticks. Infinity Ring Locking System, Quick Shift Trigger Stops and Adjustable Hair Triggers and there's their social media handles down the bottom so we can tag them in all the pictures of the Scuff Gaming Controller that we put on Instagram and Twitter. Oh yeah! And last but not least, if we go on to the back of the box you can see, you can see here all the different configurations and things you can do with the controller with all the colours, thumbsticks Paddles on the back, grip on the back, very, very cool. But enough box chat, let's get in and see what my customised scuff gaming controller looks like. Whoa, there's a nice shiny box, hopefully you can pick that up in the video. Nice metal scuff logo there. Look at that, nope, okay. A little jiggle and there we go. We're now officially part of Team Scuff because we have a sticker and that means we're official. Happy holidays. Thank you card from the CEO and founder. You guys can pause and read that if you wish. It's just telling you how to remove and replace the paddles. And here is the product guide. And then once we move this out of the way, we'll be able to see our custom Scuff gaming controller. Smash the thumbs up button if you guys are hyped for this in 3, 2, 1. Wee Look at this bad boy. So, this, we'll just take this out here. This is a little key for unlocking the sticks on the front of the controller. We'll put that to the side just now. Let's get right into the good stuff here. Oh, it feels so, so good. So I've actually went for a kind of matte grey and orange, or orangey, goldy type colour. Trying to go for the gamer's world colours a wee bit there. Loving it. And you can see we've actually got the domed sticks there, so they don't go in the way they do on the normal PlayStation controller. They actually are a dome, which is pretty good. Feels like you'll have nice control in them. Feels exactly like the standard PlayStation DualShock. Wouldn't surprise me if this is one that they just update. I don't know how that works, but everything feels good and clicky. Buttons feel the exact same, which is great. You can see the scuff logo there too. And we can turn around to the back and you can see this crazy military grade grip which is good if you end up getting sweaty hands during a first person shooter game like me you won't drop the pad on the floor which is pretty good and this is the magic part of this controller the paddles which sound fab also you can also see you've got the triggers here which you can use with key and adjust so you don't need to press them down as far I don't know if I can do it with my fingers Yep, so you can see that's what it's usually like. You can see I've turned that one round. Now it doesn't go as far. So when you're on a first person shooter, if you can't switch the buttons to the front shoulder buttons, you can just do that and it will shoot a lot quicker than having to go all the way down. Fraction of second counts in first person shooters, so that may be really useful for you guys. What's so good about these paddles then? Well, so from Call of Duty, if you're playing the game, you're running around, you see someone pops around the corner, go to shoot, 
and then you need to jump out of the way. Instead of having to do that, now you can just click the trigger in the back and it means you don't need to take your thumb off the stick. So you can keep moving, aiming and jumping at the same time. Awesome! Last but not least, you've got a few wee accessories. Additional triggers you can attach. And then you've got these little keys here. This one here is for adjusting the triggers on the back like I just showed you a minute ago. And then this one here is to magnetically map whatever button on the fly you want to use your triggers for. If you guys are wondering how you map a button to the paddle, this is how you do it. It's that simple. You literally just place the electromagnetic key on the back, press down the paddle that you want to map the button to, and then press the function button which you want mapped to the paddle, release the function button, and then let go of the paddle and remove the key, and then you're ready to rock. How cool is that? Awesome. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video guys, that brings us to the end of our unboxing of the Scuf Infinity Pro Professional Gaming Controller. I cannot wait to start using this bad boy and I'll be using it in all my gameplays on the channel from now on. Well, all the gameplays on the PS4 that is. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it guys, please subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. And we'll see you on the next video. Makes me feel so proud.